I hope this finds everyone out there doing well. I've been playing around with a little Bluetooth auto sensing circuit, leveraging a uh, Vox type circuit design using some parts and pieces I had on hand. So uh, I'll share the circuit. You can see we can toggle back and forth and activate the uh, Bluetooth just by hitting the uh, play button here on the uh, smartphone or device. So uh, let's take a look at the circuit real quick. We'll start out by looking at the power supply. Again, this is made for transformer type receivers. I'm taking the heater voltage. You can see in my case the uh, plus side is uh, pin 2 and the chassis ties to pin 7. I'm going through a single diode, so a half wave rectifier. In my case, my input AC voltage there is about 6.5 volts with 120 volts of uh, AC line. So I'm about a half a volt to three quarters of a volt under load above the uh, dropout voltage for the rectifier. It may be a case where a voltage doubler circuit may be needed to achieve the uh, 5 volts DC output. You can see I'm using a DC to DC converter, the NKE device. Again, that cleans up or isolates the uh, circuit and I have no hum whatsoever by uh, using that particular uh, converter. Looking at the Vox circuit itself, again, I had the uh, Max 9814 uh, left over from a previous project I was working on. I've got this uh, preset to 40 dB of gain. That seemed to work well at that point. And you can see I do have a preamp circuit as well, which I'll share in a moment, that feeds into that device. The uh, microphone itself is removed from the circuit, so I'm just uh, doing a direct connection through an electrolytic capacitor back over to the input side of the uh, MAX9814. That drives a, a couple diodes to uh, rectify the signal and then Q1 to switch the uh, relay. And of course the capacitance value itself is high enough to uh, kind of hold the uh, volume high and not have uh, quick drop-offs and then the bleeder resistor of uh, 10k there on the input side of the base as we uh, switch gives a switching time of about uh, two to three seconds or so. At that point you see I can drive the uh, relay, the single pole double throw relay by the way, you can download a copy of the schematic and the uh, bill of material. Just check out the video description itself and you'll see a link to the uh, files on my Google Drive. And here's a look at the uh, little preamp circuit that drives the uh, MAX9814 and also attaches back to the uh, relay as well. You can see it's uh, straightforward just using a, a common uh, 2N3904. And of course to wrap things up we need a Bluetooth module itself, uh, one I had on hand. You can see I've got the right and left channels combined using uh, 1K resistors. And the uh, voltage input itself again fed isolated from the heater string by the NKE DC to DC converter. So um, at load, I'm about 4.9 volts in my case. So just under the 5 volt limit for this particular uh, Bluetooth device is powered from the uh, battery connection itself. As I noted earlier, I used the uh, MAX9814 because I had it on hand. One could leverage an LMC6482 op amp and probably configure that for the same amount of gain, uh, probably a hundred times uh, voltage gain of around 40 dB, and probably achieve the uh, same results. You may even be able to configure a uh, 2N3904 and achieve the uh, same results and uh, rectify the uh, signal at that point and then switch again through the uh, 2N3904. So uh, just one method and procedure that's uh, possible 
to create the uh, Vox circuit, and it seems to work uh, pretty well. Again, made just for sets that have uh, transformers. Appreciate you guys uh, watching. Everyone out there, uh, take care.